What's up, YouTube? What's up, everybody? Uh, just wanted to share something real quick. Uh, so I've been posting a lot of videos and things about uh, the movie Come Out of Jesus' Name and Deliverance. It's crazy how much hate some religious people have towards people casting out demons and deliverance happening, you know? And the crazy thing is, the Bible says there's nothing new under the sun, right? There's nothing new. Um, Luke chapter 9 verse 49 I just wanted to read this real quick It says now John Answered and said Master We saw someone casting out demons In your name And we forbade him Because he does not follow with us But look what Jesus says Jesus said to him Do not forbid him For he who is not against us Is on our side if you're a Christian and you're mad and you're forbidding or you're speaking bad about casting out demons and deliverance for whatever reason, you don't agree with it. Maybe you don't agree with the person who's doing it. Maybe the church they go to since they're not part of your church or part of your clique or part of whatever little group it is that you got going on. Get out of that mentality because see, Jesus didn't even have that mentality. He said, listen, if they are not against us, then they're with us. We got to stop coming against other people in the body of Christ. I understand there's false prophets. I understand there's false teachers. I understand there's wolves in sheep's clothing. But when someone is, is, is doing the same thing Jesus was doing, if someone is doing the ministry of Jesus Christ, don't stop them. Stop forbidding. There's too much. This Like I posted videos and, uh, and uh, about, you know, deliverance i've had people disrespect me and i'm sure people are gonna watch this video and probably still disrespect me in the comment box where's the love of christ if you're if you're not in christ i completely understand why you have so much hatred in your heart towards god and christianity it's okay now if you're in christ and all you do is comment on people's youtube page and videos while they're trying to preach the gospel they're trying to help people get set free help people get delivered and all you're trying to do is find a way to stop them you clearly are not having the same mindset of Jesus. Jesus said, if they're not against us, then they're with us. Stop coming against people. Stop creating enemies that, that <laughs> you don't really have. You're creating a, a war with other Christians, creating enemies that are not your enemies. The Bible says we do not war against flesh and blood, but against principalities, governors of darkness, rulers, and, and, and in the heavenly places. These, these are our enemies, the devil, the demons. Stop making other Christians your enemies. Stop commenting on the YouTube. Stop commenting on my YouTube and, and, and writing disrespectful, stupid things. And, 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 and then trying to stop other people from doing deliverance because maybe you don't agree that they should be getting used. Maybe they're not part of your clique. They're not part of your church. They're not part of your denomination. Jesus forbids sectarian. That's called sectarianism. The, or, or the Bible says... Some will say I'm of Apollo. Some say I'm, I'm of Paul. We got to stop this stuff. We got to stop this stuff. And we got to unite in the body of Christ. Come against the real enemy. Come against the devil. Come against the enemy. Come against demons. But so many people have a religious spirit. If God God has to move their way. God has to operate in a, in a set, in this box of emotions and feelings and opinions. And it has to be their way. And if it's not, it's not of God. Where somebody even commented on one of my videos and said speaking in tongues is demonic. Like, you guys don't, you guys like not read your Bible? <laughs> like, read your Bible. Stop arguing with people, things you have no idea. Read your Bible. Reality is a lot of people just, they say things with their opinions and their feelings, their emotions. Stop doing this. Let people, let people do their thing. Let people cast out demons. Let them speak in tongues. Let them do everything the Bible says. If the person is not coming against you, look like Jesus said, if they're not coming against us, uh, you know, stop trying to forbid them. You know, if they're not part of your clique, they're not part of your church, they're not part of your denomination, whatever it is, if they're doing what the Bible says, we're on the same team. So if you're watching this video, you're a brother or sister in Christ, man, cast out demons. Go get people baptized in the Holy Spirit. Go preach the gospel. Go do it. I, you, got my, you got my support. You know, we're on the same team. You know, we got to stop this friendly fire in the body of Christ. Stop it. 
It's got to stop friendly fire. I get it. But everyone in the name of, oh, calling out a false prophet, false teacher. Half of you don't even know what a false prophet and a false teacher is. But you just want to say things because it, 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 the way it makes you feel. We don't go based off how we feel. We go based off what the spirit is saying, what the word of God says. Amen. So come on, church. Stop the friendly fire. Stop forbidding people. Stop trying to stop deliverance. Stop trying to stop people from getting set free. Because if you're doing that, you're showing that you're on the wrong side. Anyways, I'm at work. I just figured to share this video real quick, share the scripture with you guys. God bless you guys. Love you guys.